Good morning. It's not even 7 a.m. I'm a mess. Um, but that's okay. I just wanted to pop on real quick before I started playing. Um, today is Saturday, the 24th of September. We are getting on the Disney Wish in two days. And I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hands. I had my toes done yesterday at the salon. I'll show you those. Um, <laughs> it's, I'm so foggy right now. I literally thought, oh, let me take it off and show it to you. But it's a foot. It's not a shoe. <laughs> wow. Um, so I have to decide what I want to do. So I'm going to do a bunch of like pretend ones today just to see. I think I'll do a mermaid. I think I'll do... I think I'll play with some of the gels too. I haven't touched the gels in a long time, but I have gel on my toes right now and I forgot how easy. I don't know. I can't do my feet. I can. It's terrible. It's terrible when I do my feet and I can't do designs and stuff on them. Um, I might do a stamp on each big toe on top of this gel. Um, maybe. I have a couple ideas. Maybe a, some kind of a starfish or mermaid or something. But I haven't decided yet. Um, I have to decide. We have to get on that boat in 48 hours. Um, I don't know what uh, the hurricane situation is going to be. Maybe I'll do like a weather map. I'll use like a like a geode thing and make them do a weather map. I don't know. So let's play today. And Jen and Brian are coming over for breakfast in two and a half hours. So I should really be like... I don't know. It's too early to vacuum. Ethan is still asleep, so uh, <laughs> we will uh, we'll do this for a little while, and then because it doesn't matter if I mess them up, because I'm going to do them as temporary anyway. I'm going to put the peely base coat on under underneath anyway. But uh, that way, I get like Jen's opinion on a couple of them. But I think I'm going to start with the mermaid one because that one really intrigues me. So let me get my nails cleaned up and prepped, and we'll be back. All right. While the base coat's dry, I did Peely and smoothing. Uh, this is Uber Chic Mermaid Life. And I'm going to do this one and this one. Um, and then I think maybe we'll color in some of these. I'll have to figure out where exactly. Okay, for my outline, I'm going to go with Maniology Shattered. We're going to try it. It looks like it'll stamp pretty dark. Let's see how this comes out. Okay, that came out pretty good. All right, we'll clean that up, and then we're going to go and we're going to grab something kind of um, shimmery and light. I'm going to stick with the purples, I think, and I'm going to go with Thriller from Maniology. Let's see if this works. Oh, I need another stamp. All right. That worked. Yeah, that worked. Okay, I'm going to color some of these in. Got that set and ready to go. I also think I might do these two little palm trees on the bottom here. I might do those on my big toenails. Because I can do those in basically any color. My original thought was black, but maybe I'll do like a, the, the dark purple. Or maybe I'll do the, I wonder if it'll work with the shimmery one. I will try it. And with that thought, I forgot I hadn't shown you my toes yet. I had her do an ombre in uh, like a tealy green and a tealy blue. Well, she did a really nice job. I can barely reach those. So doing the whole pedicure thing is a real pain in the neck. So Jen was going to get her nails done, and I'm like, oh, give me a pedicure appointment while you're there. That dot on my big toe is where Linda bit me. 
a little scab. Um, so I did a whole hot stone pedicure thing while she had her toenails and her fingernails done. Um, and I had them take off the polish from before and shape them. So look, they're all, they're all straight and square. I can't do that. I mean, I can, but I can't do it well. They did a much better job than I could. All right. Color one. Fairy tale by Maniology. I don't know why I'm using just stamping polishes at the moment, but that seems to be where I'm headed. And Karen needed to bark. At nothing. Oh, this dog. I'm doing this before I... Oh, hello. Before I even paint the nail because I want to make sure that it's dried. Uh, let's do you... Let's do one of you. Maybe one more. Maybe one more in this color. Okay. Okay, switching over to a hollow taco. This is glitterly purple. And it apparently won't go into focus. There we go. Take a couple of squares in that. And I'm attempting to pick ones that aren't on this little grid, but we'll see. I figure if I get if I do double up a grid, it's not a big deal. Okay. Why aren't you in focus? Come on. There you go. Come on, color. Okay. All right, those will have a chance to dry. I'm going to do a base coat, and I'm going to go um, with lavender. All right, let's do this one because it's a bigger nail. Feel like I just need a tiny bit of cleanup over here on the side. There we go. Okay, we'll let that dry and we will uh, do our two stamps. Okay, as soon as this is dry, we're going in with the Orly Bonder and letting that dry for 30 seconds before we do our first stamp. Okay. Okay, 30 seconds. All right, so what this does is it creates a tacky layer on just the nail. Because we let these stamps dry, the, um, what do you call it? Um, they're not going to stick to the nail. So you need that tacky layer in order to do that. And I'm trying to decide, I think this one goes first and then the other one. I'm trying to remember the best way to do this. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so give that another second or two. I really like the shape that she gave me on these nails. 
All right, we're going to go this way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully, I can just do this one right over it. I'm not good at this lining up stuff. Oh, I did it. I missed the edge of the nail, but that's okay. These are temporary anyway. I did it. So these things up on top, they're just kind of hanging off. They're not, they're not stuck to my skin, see? because that stamp was dry. So let me make sure the edges are tamped down. Oops, sorry, did not mean to hit the camera. I kind of missed the edge there. That's all right. All right, let me get some Acetone, dissolve these edges. Oops. Let's knock everything down on the desk. Pull off the brush. So for breakfast today, I am making um, French toast, uh, coconut French toast. So, you know how usually when you do French toast, you put um, some milk in with the egg. Instead of milk, I use coconut creamer. And it gives it just a light coconut. The top of that nail is a mess. But the rest of it came out pretty cool. I like it. All right. I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and then I will <clears throat> do a top coat of the smudge-free maniology. And then I think it's going to need some taco over it to give it a little more shimmer. Oh, I, you know what I've got sitting on my desk? Sorry about the camera. This is um, purple flaky hollow taco. I'll put some of that on top of it. And then we'll legit top coat it. Let's put the little lid back on that. But yeah, I mean, other than the fact that I missed that side, that came out pretty cute. So that's a possibility. One down. Okay, I might regret this, but I'm gonna put the top coat over without without doing the smudge free stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna be very gentle. Oh, and this is not the bottle I meant to grab. It's still working. This is um, literally purple. I grabbed the wrong bottle. They look very similar. Let's see. So that's what I meant to grab, and that's what I grabbed. This was a little less dense, a little more opaque. Let's see. Well, you can still see it. And again, not the permanent one, just a test. Still works. Not as good. Kind of screwed it up, but that's okay. No worries. Okay, we're going to do the ship anchor. So I'm going to do a base coat of, this is um, Flotsam. One of my favorite blues and lost gold. And then I have to like start getting ready for people coming over. <laughs> so 
So in case you were ever wondering, can you paint with stamping polishes? The answer is yes. And in most cases, you're going to get a nice opaque, opaque coat. It's just one coat. And since this is just a test nail, we're going to leave it at that. Okay, so I don't think I, while well, this dries, I don't think I finished telling you. Um, breakfast is coconut French toast. I am going to, I bought a big thing of pineapple to serve on the side, and I'm going to uh, crush up some of the pineapple for a topping, and we've got Cool Whip. Or I also bought maple syrup in case somebody wants that. We've got butter. Uh, I bought sausages. We can do pineapple on the side. And I'm starting to think we have hash browns in the freezer. But those are going to take a while because they're frozen. Um, but I could do that. So that's a possibility. Um, as long as we're sitting here, let's top coat this purple nail. I think it's ready. That's it. Keep it in the camera. It's in a really awkward angle because I'm it's charging right now. It was almost dry. But that's the plan for breakfast. And then we're going to um, film some stuff for our cruise announcement. And then I think I'm going to give Jen her... I got her a couple of things for the cruise. So I think I'm going to give her those today too. So it'll be nice. It's uh, We haven't gotten together in quite a while. Between me being sick and then Brian being sick and... Uh, Brian's work schedule, Ethan's work schedule. It's been really tough to kind of get together. So even though we're going to spend all of next week on a ship together, um, I thought it'd be nice to do breakfast today. Yeah, that's dry. Okay, let's grab this. Hopefully this works. It should. Give me a stamp. Give me a... Hard. I love this polish. Yes, no, come on. All right, one side is definitely better than the other. Let's clean this stamp. Oh, that's not going to work. Where's the sticky thing? Where's the sticky thing? There it is. Let's clean this up. Okay, let's find the better side. Brush. How do I manage to bury everything? Get the purple one there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Those little spokes are a little too light. Maybe if I colored it in first. Maybe that would work better. I can try that on another nail. I do like the gold and blue combo. Okay, we'll work on that. Jen, I was going to wait until we got on the ship, but I'm not going to wait until we get on the ship. I'm going to do this now. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That, one, that one's you. <laughs> I had these for about, oh. I don't know, 10 oh. months now. Oh, I love them. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so neat. Oops. And there's something inside it. I like that. That is super Sorry, cool. Sorry, honey. I'm right, in your, I'm right in your way. Sit. Linda. Sit. Sit. Oh, these oh. are so cool. Mm. I love them. And your little bag of uh, uh, magnets is in there, too. Okay. Get down. Linda, get off. Get down. Ah. Linda, ah. leave her Linda. alone. Linda. Linda, go by Brian. Go by Brian. <laughs> Oh, how cool. There. 
Now you're ready to go. Jen's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Where are we going? Uh, nowhere. <laughs>